Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a big old Sceptile Heal Grass Box deck. It's a really cool deck here that I've built on PDCGO. I have really yet to dive too in depth with Sceptile. I haven't actually covered it in full yet. Um, really, it's just been in Verizian and Executor. But I'm actually going to look at a Sceptile base deck today using Sceptile with Max Potions, with Ace Rollas, um with life force and i'm going to be using some other tricks and tools in this deck so this is going to be a very interesting archetype and kind of just felt like uploading this mainly because the lists at the current moment are not online for a lot of the decks i wanted to i want to cover the dialga magnazone deck from virginia and i might look into the shuckle stall deck i still need to get some shuckles but i might cover that too so while we wait for those lists to go live on limitless I might as well just do a different deck, and I wanted to cover a Sceptile Heal deck today, because I have yet to look at Sceptile GX in its full. So Sceptile GX is actually a pretty powerful card. It's 230 HP stage 2 Pokemon with the attack Mock Cut, which for 1 energy, you do 60 damage, and then you discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. This attack is really brutal against Zoark GX. Zoark GX mainly just plays special energy, so you can just spam Mock Cut and just run Zoark out of energy. Um, you can also disrupt them really hard with Mock Cut. And then you have Leaf Cyclone, which can do 130 damage and then move a Grass Energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. So really strong attack, um, really powerful card. And then we have the GX attack, Jungle Heal. Heal all damage from each of your Pokemon that have any Grass Energy attached to them. So in the late game, you kind of just come in with a big old Jungle Heal. So Sceptile GX is a very strong attacker and it's really good. One energy attacks. Really good um, two energy attacks, a pretty good GX attack, pretty tanky Pokemon, and there's a lot of healing cards we are going to be playing. I'm going to be playing Max Potion. There's Life Force, which basically, <laughs> once you're in turn, you may heal 60 damage from and all special conditions from one of their grass Pokemon. Really powerful stadium, and we also have some other heals, like again, Max Potion. I am playing Ace Rolla, which we'll get into why it's in here in a minute, and then also we have Leafeon. Now, this deck kind of plays a little bit slower to your average uh, deck. We are going to be using four Groviles here with Sunshine Grace, one of the best cards of Sceptile is Groviles. Once turn turn before you attack, you may search deck for a Grass Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So we're going to use Grovile to just slowly build up our board state, and it's going to be a bit of a slower deck. We do not play any rare candies, but we can do some fun combos with Grovile. We can also use Leafeon GX here with the GX tag Grand Bloom. Uh, for each of your bench Pokemon, uh, and it should be base Pokemon, sorry, you evolve a, uh, you evolve it. Now, you can't use this GX attack with Ditto Prism Star, unfortunately, but you can use it with Trico. You can get, like, two Grow Vials in play, get a Lorantis in play. Um, so, Grand Bloom is really, really good in that regard. So, Leafeon is going to be a really nice card to have in this deck. Um, we can also use Breath of Leaves with Life Forest, which is a very powerful combination. So, Leafeon is going to be a nice um, backup attacker in here. We also have a Galissapod. Just threw Galissapod in here. Uh, we can, it's interchangeable, you can either play Galissapod or Lorantis GX, it's up to you. I decided to go Galissapod, we have First Impression, nice one energy attack. We are playing Ace Rollas, we are playing Guzmas, I am playing one Switch, so might as well just run a Galissapod. We do have to use it with Ditto though, something to note. And to boost our damage, I am playing Promo Lorantis with Sunny Day, and <coughs> I am playing a Split Sceptile line. I am playing Powerful Storm Sceptile, which is 20 damage times the amount of energy, sorry I got cough. Um, for each energy touch to all your Pokemon, we also have Power of Nature, which helps us a lot against Blacephalon and Buzzwool. Um, obviously, with this, each of your Pokemon that have any Grass Energy on them cannot be damaged by attacks from Ultra Beast. So, really powerful ability in combination with Sceptile. That's basically the Pokemon line. Obviously, I would try and consider running a copy of Lorantis GX. I didn't really find it needed in here. Um, I just think this spot's a bit funner. Uh, but yeah, that is the Pokemon list, and then three, uh, we're playing four Trigos. I am playing the 60 HP one, it's compatible with Elm, and I am playing one copy of Tapu Lele. And that's it for the Pokemon game lineup. Now we go into the items now, and there is a lot of them. So, we got one energy recycle system. I really like this card, because we can just get one energy back if we really need it. I like having just one copy of this in the deck. It's a really cool card in this type of an archetype with Max Potion. Two Max Potions, obviously, to combo with stuff like Sceptile. We get Max Potion, heal our Sceptile. And then mock cut. I am playing four net balls. I am playing one Elm's lecture to compensate for that too. Uh, but four net balls is great to get you a grass energy, but also to just get a nice Trico on turn one or a Fomantis. And I'm playing one stretcher 
I am playing one Switch in this deck also. Switch is a really good card to play. Maybe we can like switch with Eevee and then go into a Leafy on turn one and then do Grand Bloom. So there's some possible combinations with Switch. Also pairs well with Glissopod. Uh, three Ultra Balls. We don't need to play four. We have four Groviles. If anything, we can play two, but we still need to grab the Grovile. Ultra Ball grabs us Grovile. Um, honestly, you can consider just running four Great Balls instead if you really wanted to, instead of playing an Ultra Ball, so it's really up to you. And of course, we gotta play the Life Force Stadium, one of the best cards in this deck, with Sceptile and with Leafeon. Uh, two Ace Rollers. Now, we can actually Ace Roll with Sceptile, because one of the ways we build up our board is we have Sceptile in play, but we're gonna have a Grovile in play too. We're gonna go Trico, Grovile, then Sceptile. So, it's a bit of a slower build. But that's how we're going to kind of build our board state up is with Grovile instead of running Rare Candy. So we can actually use Sunshine Grace in combination with Ace Rollas. Um, it's really powerful, you know, Sceptile gets hit, we Ace Roll the Sceptile. We should have a Grovile already in play, and then we just plop Sceptile back down. That's why we play four or two of them. We can also use it with Glow Spot, and sometimes we can't really use Leafeon and stuff like that. Four Cynthia's for draw, three Lilies for draw. Uh, of course, our three Guzma is another really good card with Glow Spot. And, you know, stuff like Lorantis and Leafeon can get trapped in the active, even Grovile because it has a 2 or 3 cost. And I am playing one Judge just for, like, Alolan Vulpix and stuff like that. And that's mainly it for the supporters and two Choice Bands. And to round it out, I am playing eight Grass Energies. We have that Energy Recycle System, don't forget. And I am playing two DCEs, four Leafeon, four Galissapod, four Lele, and also, surprisingly, works pretty well with Powerful Storm to do the extra 40 damage. So, yeah, DC is actually a really good card in this deck. You can't use it with Sceptile GX, which is a huge issue. If you want, you can run, like, a Rainbow Brush, which I wouldn't hate. I would consider running one Rainbow Brush. I don't know if it works right now, but one Rainbow Brush wouldn't hurt you because you can swap the DC off Sceptile, turn it into a Grass Energy. But it's here for Galissapod, it's here for Leafeon, and it's here for Lele, and it's here for Powerful Storm. So I'm just going to be playing it too. And that is my Sceptile Tanky Healing deck. It's a very cool deck idea that I've come up with using these different combos of cards. We're going to try it on PCGO, see in action, and see what this deck is all about. Alright, let's do some matches with Sceptile. I'm excited to play this deck. Seems like it'd be a fun little row we get to play, but we're, I'm excited to try this out. I still do have to try out some other Lost Thunder decks. Uh, and again, I'll jam something I do maybe want to make a video on soon. Ninja Shit Ninja, maybe. And I do still want to cover Vespaquin, maybe. We're up against Blacephalon. Oh my goodness. Or ho -Oh. But either way, this is not really the game one that I was hoping for. However, if it's... I mean, if it's ho -Oh, we're screwed. If it's Blacephalon, not so much. So I can do against Blacephalon. Just get Sceptile and play and we're good. Hopefully. We gotta pray it's Blacephalon and not like ho -Oh. Okay, good, it is Blacephalon. So we're gonna see if we can beat Blacephalon, see if they're playing Plumeria or not. I don't know if they are. Just gotta hope they're not playing Plumeria. No one's really gonna expect Sceptile, so that's, I guess, good. We just gotta hope we get enough Tricos going, that's another thing. Never mind, we are not really gonna get anything good. I'm actually gonna do this, maybe set up a crossing cut. And my opponent just straight up conceives the match? What? <laughs> okay. Um, sure. I was gonna build up Ditto, turn into a Glisspod, Crossing Tut, one shot Blacephalon, but my opponent concedes. I mean, they probably were like, uh, 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 my opponent is playing Sceptile. I don't play the Plumeria. I auto lose. Fair enough. And right, here we go. Ugh, this could be a Sylveon stall deck. I hope not. I hope it is not. That is not a very fun deck. To I'd rather be Gardevoir. I would much rather guard over here. So we are going to mulligan. See what our new hand is going to look like. Maybe my opponent was just saying I was playing Executor. I don't know. Got a Fomantis start. Pretty bad hand. Yikes. Not a lot we could work with. Okay, it is guard over. Okay. My opponent will mulligan. We did get a pretty unfortunately bad hand here. Not off to a great start. The only thing I would consider doing is just bumping up the draw supporters. Play like four lilies. I don't know. Play a Marshadow. I don't know if you'd have room for that, though. Would be nice to pull off a nice Elm's Lecture here, maybe, and then do something there. Let's see. Okay, we drew a Lily. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Can't really draw much with Lily. I mean, I have to do this to draw a couple extra cards. Wow, we got nothing. That is incredible. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked we didn't get a single Netball or anything. 
We had a lot of waves to get Trico down. That really sucks. Jesus. Rip. That choice band too is really good against Gardevoir. Not so not so good anymore. That really sucks. I had to draw the extra card, but yeah, just not good. I'm gonna have to just get Guzma Rolls next turn. Maybe if he benches an Oranguru or something, I can like just Guzma that instead. This is really annoying though. This hand is terrible. Ripped, I was gonna say they discarded a couple supporters there, but they get a pal pad, of course. Just gonna pass. Alright, let's see what we draw. There we go. Of course that'd be the last card. R.I.P. Um I could get knocked out next turn. I might as well just pass. There's not much else I can do. This hand is not very good. I hope I survive the turn. Okay, we're good. Would be nice to get a judge off next turn too, I guess, if he doesn't if he does pull off a magical ribbon here. No! This guy's playing wink wink. Okay, I've seen everything. I have seen everything. Okay. That is not a magical ribbon, and that makes me very happy. And before this guy hit a double Gardevoir, double Safari energy, that would be insane. That'd be nuts. Alright. So he's gonna pass, which is good. We got a net ball. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna get a grass. I might go for synthesis here. I think I'm going to. Thin out the deck a little bit. Uh, well, Sunshine Grace for a Trico. Let's see what we prize. So we got... <laughs> got all our Seps. Got our Lorantis. We do have Glispod. We do have Ditto. We got two Max Potions. Okay. Okay, everything seems fine. Actually, I don't know if I really want to do Synthesis. Force him to have to, like, hit a lot to knock me out. Yeah, I might actually need the time to set up. But I do like the idea of thinning a little bit. So either I thin, or I go for the synthesis. Like, I can thin, or I just don't play the energy. I mean, I can always, like, Guzma the other Eevee up or something, I guess. I mean, he's got four cards. I mean, I guess I'll thin. I think I kind of have to. I think I have to. I'm gonna have to get better odds of drawing out of this. And then next turn I can switch. I don't think I'll ever attack with him. If he just takes like 10 damage, I can always ace roll and get that choice band back. I need choice band in this matchup to hit better numbers on Gardevoir. And it looks like he's not gonna knock a Fomantis, which is kind of interesting. Kinda wish he'd just do 10 damage to me so I could just ace roll up. It'd be so nice if that could happen. Okay, we don't play Field Blower, so that's gonna be a bit of an issue. Drew a DCE. Alright, so we'll Sunshine Grace for another Grovile. I might just take it slow. Honestly, I think he Cynthia last time, but I might just take it slow here. Just slowly build up my board. Maybe grab Lorantis. Lorantis could probably take a hit. Potentially. Actually, I don't know. Let's just get Trico. I'm actually more scared of Plea more than anything else. I'm not gonna lie, I might just attack him now. I know I give him magical ribbon. I don't know. I do want to get damage on that thing though soon. Just wish I didn't have to play that choice band. Do I just Guzma the Sylveon? Hope he doesn't have a fairy energy. Actually, no, you know what? We can just knock out that Ralts. Yeah, that, that works too, I guess. That works too. See if we get anything good off the prizes. I know I have a Grovile prize, so that'd be nice. Another Trico, that's okay, I guess. Don't know if I'm actually going to play it, though. Would be nice to get Glispod. Glispod's good in this matchup. One energy attacks. Makes it harder for Gardevoir knocking out one hit. Yeah, he's going for Sylvia. All right, well, we got the prize. We got rid of a DC, which is important, and we also took out a Rawls and a Choice Band. That's pretty nice. I think that was better. I mean, it is good to try and get damage on this guy. Plea could be annoying, but if he please my Fomantis, yes, please give me that Choice Band. Now, again, we can't use DC on Sceptile. This is kind of where that, like, one copy of Rainbow Brush, as crazy as it is, could be good, and oh my gosh, he just played a DC. I am so sorry for your loss. 
I know he wanted, wanted to draw cards with Lily, but that was a really big mistake on my opponent's end. Because that is a free prize. Alright, never mind. He's going to get rid of the choice. Ah, well, that's fine. He's going to Ultra Ball, probably grab Curlia, unless he has a rare candy in hand. He has rare candy in hand, oh my god. At least we know his hand's empty. That's kind of assuring. We can also get rid of the DC. No, he's actually retreating. Ooh, too bad for you. I got an Ace Rolla, and there's nothing you can Ace Rolla. I'd actually prefer to knock this thing out, too. He knows where my hand is, which is a little annoying, but it's whatever. Oh, you play it? I did not know that was the case. That makes that even worse. Now I am short and ace roll, uh, lovely. Alright, well, we didn't get the energy, so we can't knock him out. Yeah, nothing knocks him out, right? Alright, well, we'll scroll vial then. Just, I guess, then. Grab Lorantis. Sadly, we're short on the knockout. It's fine, though. Just mock cut, I guess, for now. I would be amazed if he top decked a supporter. He's played a lot of them. He's played a few. So, if he draws a supporter, he, I'm going to be a little upset. What are the odds this guy drew a supporter? What? At least he gives me a new hand, but... And he gets heads. That, that This game is so lovely sometimes when your opponent draws a supporter. Okay, there we go. We got stuff going. We got an energy. That's good. No supporter, though. Well, I guess that's actually good, because he can't wink-wink me. I can't believe he actually hit that, though. What are the odds this guy would draw a supporter? Seriously, what are the odds? He scoops. Alright, well, there we go. My opponent scoops. I can't believe he drew that supporter. That was not really much of a good game, though, not gonna lie to you guys. That was a pretty bad game. But whatever. I'll take the free win. We're getting really close to getting 200 coins, which is good. Get a pack soon. Do another game with our Sceptile deck. Hopefully get more flow going. Ooh, Fire Fairy. I really hope this is not spread, but we can beat spread. I mean, spread's actually probably one of our better matchups, to be honest with you. So we are going to win the coin flip, which is good. Hopefully we get a better hand than last time. And yeah, we got Trico. We can do Whelm's Lecture too, which is nice. But I feel like this matchup is pretty good. I might actually prefer Lethion here if he's playing spread. Yeah, this is a spread dead. Spread actually, is this Basimian? I think he's playing Pacinian. So we'll netball for Trico. Let's see. So we got Leafeon. Wow. We prized Ditto and Eevee. What do you mean, brother? What do you mean? That is insane. Rip the dream. Okay. Well, that sucks. Tempted to hold the hand. Tempted just to hold. I think I'm going to hold. I might Ultra Ball Judge and Glow Spot away though, and just grab a grab a, another Trico, I guess. Yeah, sure. Let's yeah, let's do that. I don't think I'm gonna need Glow Spot in this matchup. Just get another Trico. I could grab a uh, Full Mantis. We'll just grab the other Trico though. Just build up a Trico army. I'm not gonna attach. We're not gonna be able to attack many times soon. This is a slower deck, so going first is always preferred. Get a net spall, okay. Maybe this isn't Pissimian though, who knows? And there is the annoying Coco. Did <sighs> I actually had the switch? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, we'll evolve the active. And we'll just go insane on the girl vials. Really wish I had Leafeon, though. Leafeon's really good in this matchup. You one-shot Coco, and you also get to do some little fun shenanigans with, um, with, uh, Breath of the Leaves. Breath of the Leaves is huge. 
Sadly, we prized both of the ways to get Leaf Yawn in play, which is a little unfortunate. Sunshine Grace again. Mm, I guess we'll grab Full Man. I don't know if I want to play that down, though. I don't think I do. I don't even know if I want to attach, in case I get Deoxys. I think I'm just going to Cynthia. Oh, we didn't get... How do we not get a Grass Energy? Well, Ultra Ball, I'll just check now if I have Lele. I do, right? Yeah, okay. We'll grab Lele. We'll just pass. I can't believe I whiffed the... <laughs> it's hard to believe you whiff Grass sometimes when you have access to Net Ball. It's kind of crazy. I'm just going to get a lot of flying flips off. We're going to have to maybe hope that Max Potion. We probably have to evolve all our Groviles too. Just in case. This deck is pretty much an anti-spread uh, deck, though, at the core, so it shouldn't be too bad. We can also run them out of energy, which is really good. Counter energy? Nice, he can't play that. And a flying flip. Alright, let's see what we draw. A netball, nice. So we'll just grab the grass energy. And of course, we'll just go Sceptile here and hopefully run him out of energy. <laughs> we'll probably have to evolve all these. I'm not saying he's going to drop a... Well, actually, there's probably no way we're going to get Lele late next turn. But, just because I don't want to... Well, actually, let's just get this Sceptile instead. Obviously, Shrine is in play. I do need to find that new stadium. And we'll just drop Lele for Cynthia. And hope to find that new stadium, just so I can heal. We do not find it. Alright, we can play Choice Band, though, because I doubt we'll even need it in this matchup. We'll do this, Sunshine Grace, for... I guess Fomantis, doesn't really matter. Again, I don't really want to put him down. And we'll just mock cut him for 60, move that DCE, get it out of here. We're going to take some Shine damage, but again, we do have access to Jungle Heal. Though it is... Yeah, I have that Grass Energy on my Pokemon, so yeah. We really need to find just that Stadium and hit like a Max Potion or two. And we'll be okay. He's going to Skateboard. Does he have... I, does he have a way to fly and flip me again? Nope, it's just gonna go in that, that's fine. I will Guzma that Coco up. We are taking a lot of damage though, which is a little annoying. Do we have an Ultra Ball? Sure. Get rid of probably just Fomantis and Lily. Just spin a bit. Okay. Just grab Sceptile. We are going to just Guzma that up. That's where that oh, one switch comes in handy. Actually, I don't really want to grab anything, because we are taking the prize. We're not going to be able to draw much card to Lily. But yeah, we'll knock him out with Mock Cut. Would have been nice to find energy, though, for one of these boys, but whatever. Let's we'll see what our prize is. Hey, we got Ditto. Ditto's pretty good. As long as Ditto can survive a turn, we'll be able... To make use of that ability and turn him into a Leafeon. And Leafeon is a really good player in this matchup. I am scared of that annoying Fairy Lele, though. That is the only thing that's going to get in my way. Oh, we might be able to swing with Passimian. He only drew two cards, though. I don't think he did a supporter last turn. So I'm assuming he didn't really get much off that Filch. Get a cat. Oh, come on. Oh, he's bringing out Lele, though. Interesting. I'm surprised he's not bringing out that guy. Because he has counter energy active, we actually would KO him if you find one of our DCs here. He's just gonna fill for two. I hate taking all this damage. Let's see if Ditto survives the turn. Ooh, we drew a grass energy. Okay, let's just do Lily first. Okay, we got Ace Rolla. 
we'll just have to retreat. We're not going to KO him, but we are going to get rid of that energy, which is pretty good. We'll grab a Leafy on. Actually, yeah, we'll grab it. I don't know. I feel like we won't lose Ditto, hopefully. Uh, I'm really hoping we don't. We are going to be able to remove that energy, though. We are taking a lot of Shrine damage. We just need to find our heal cards. We do have a lot. We do have enough heal cards to get out of this. Oh no, don't tell me that's gonna go Lele. Okay, good, so just Blitzel. It's going for the Blitzel. Yeah, these spread decks are a headache and a half to play against, I'm telling you. Okay, good, Ditto lives to see another day, I think. I mean, hopefully. It could get Guzman, obviously. We'll see. Oh my gosh, another counter catcher. Another counter catcher. Ooh, we drew the energy though, that's good. Not gonna be able to retreat this turn, but we are gonna be able to play down Leafeon, and we get to do some good old Breath of the Leaves action. Now we can get some heals going. We can ace roll it next turn. Might as well just do that. I do want to find that stadium, though. Yeah, let's see if we can hit the stadium. I feel like we'll find Ace Rolla. No max potion, no stadium. I don't understand. Just get another grass, I guess. Just keep getting energy in play. Sunshine Grace for Fomant. Trico, I guess, because we have the Grove Island hand, sure. <sighs> Little annoying, but we do have DC, though, so that's good. And we just need to find the heal cards. We need to find the stadium. Gotta find our max potions ASAP, too. And we gotta set up a jungle heal play on, like, Lele. Potentially Leafeon, depending on how much damage it takes. He's gonna be able to get his Abstrika here, which is annoying. We got rid of that annoying Lele. Man, I'm telling you, though, these spread decks. While this deck does kind of counter spread, they are the biggest pain in my side. Ooh, that could have been a really big card. That's really good that that's not in play now. I mean, you can always stretch with the back, I guess, but whatever. Now, Lily, does he actually hit a Psychic here? He's gonna Acrobike. I'm really... Really tempted to either knock up a Simeon or Zebstrika with Guzma here. We'll see. We shall see what I go for. Now he's gonna pass. Alright, nice. So, you know, at least we're taking damage. We can heal for now. Hey, we got Ace Rolla. Beautiful top there. So, Breath of Lee, Sceptile. I think we'll just take the Leaf Cyclone knockout on Pissimian. Just in case. Just move this energy to the other step file, I guess. Take our prize. I'm glad we got Leafy on. We just need to bump that stadium. We need to find that one copy of our other stadium. It's in the deck. We got 14 cards left. As long as it doesn't take any prizes next turn, we can ace roll the Lele and remove 90 damage. We aren't going to have access to this ability, so that's one of the only reasons why I kind of want to keep you in the active. So I am tempted to retreat and just knock him out with Solar Beam. A little rip that's going to get him what he's looking for. Okay, good DC. Not a counter energy. That's what I like to see. Do have to be mindful though, Grove and get knocked out. I might have to evolve another Sceptile. Just need that stadium though. Oh, he's retreating, okay. Why do you whoa, 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 you can't whoa. That's a confusing play. I real why did he do that? I'm not complaining, but I do not know why he actually retreated into Basimian. And attach the DC to it and not... What? I can't complain. That's really good. I'm glad he did that. I'm glad that was a potential misplay. 
I'm glad that happened. Yeah, he could have just flying flipped me. Oh my god, there that is. Alright, we need our other Guzma. We're out of them, great. Okay, well at the very least, we're gonna remove a lot of damage this turn, so it's not a big deal. It's gonna Guzma, that's fine. I was gonna ace roll that anyways. Okay, so this is perfectly fine. And we can knock him out with Breath of the Leaves, so we're gonna be off to a pretty good stance here. Ace Rolla, bring out Leafeon. Breath of the Leaves. Doesn't really matter what we heal. I'm not gonna be able to get the stadium this turn, which is the only sad thing. I gotta keep thinning. So we got two max potions. We still have a lot of heal cards. Like, at this point, we're golden. I can't really evolve, though I am potentially gonna get KO'd, but I'd rather lose profile than anything else. I don't really care about profile right now. And what does Solar Beam knock him out? He's got 110 HP too. Let's see what our prize is. Eevee. Better late than never, I guess. If I get judged, you know, I do have a convoluted hand with a bunch of cards I don't really want to play other than Sceptile. He could swing with Copycat, I guess, if he really wants to, if he does have that counter energy. We'll see. Some stretcher. Ooh, he's getting Victini. Kind of saw that coming. Now, it's for each basic in play, and he has enough to knock me out. Yeah, that sucks. Whatever. Ooh, we got rid of another shrine. Now we really need to hit that stadium card. Ooh, he's gonna take our Sceptile. That's actually perfectly fine. That's not even knocking me out. Oh my gosh. Ripped my opponent. And can I find a max potion? What do you mean, brother? Oh, we didn't hit it. Okay, I don't want to play Lele down again, but... Okay, hold on. Do I have a Cynthia? No, but I can ace Rolla. I don't want to put too many boys down, but... Oh my gosh, is this play going to hurt my opponent really badly? My opponent's probably going to feel this in his chest. Oh, the, the heals, bruh. Feels good, man. <laughs> we probably got to re-put Trico back down. Breath of Leaves, Leafeon. Okay, um, do I want to play Sceptile back down? I do not. We'll just play another Grass Energy. We'll Tash Grove. Well, we have enough. I need to burn some cards anyways. We'll just knock him out Solar Beam. But holy cow. That Ace Roll of play was everything. That was a huge play. And again, all we need to do is find Stadium. But you can see how good Leafeon is. Just healing 50 against a deck like this is so important. We only have 110 damage in play. I guess if he wants, he could take two prizes on these two. But the fact that he didn't knock me out with Victini there is pretty big. All we need to do is just deal with that Lele. But really, what else can he use? Like, I guess, like, Mimikyu can hit me pretty hard if he really wants to. Copycat can do a decent amount of damage. He could Deoxys me. Deoxys could do a decent amount of damage. Psy Wave could, you know, do, what, 60? He has a few options to hit me pretty hard here. But overall, not that much. And once we start getting our max potions, we're golden. And he has to get rid of other shrines, so all we gotta do is find that counter stadium. We probably don't have to worry about shrine of punishments for the rest of the match. Okay, found counter energy. And let's see. Let's see what he does. Hopefully we draw the stadium, and then we can just plop stadium down, heal all the damage he does with me to, with Copycat. Or he's actually going to swing with Psychic instead, which I don't think is doing as much damage as Copycat. Copycat is doing way more damage. Psychic is not doing as much, and I can actually heal most of the damage. And if I just top deck that stadium, yeah, all that damage is gone. Let's see what I draw. Mm, we didn't get it. We did not get it. That's fine, though. Looks like Leafeon's time may be up soon. We'll heal it again just in case. I'll probably get KO'd, but leave y'all put in so much work, it doesn't matter. Oh, I got 104 HP, even better. Yeah, we still have that stadium. We still got two max potions. This game is far from over. Uh, I don't want to put anything on the bench in case of, like, a Lele. So I'm just going to Elms for now. We'll just Solar Beam, knock, not knock him out, but we hit him pretty hard. I guess I could have retreated, but whatever. I, again, I think we're okay to win. We just need to find that stadium and we're golden. 
But that stadium is going to turn the tide of this match because he's probably out of shrines now, or at least just one left. We'll see. Leafion could get killed this turn. I'm not ruling it out. He can't copycat Choice Bane kill me. And Psychic isn't doing enough damage, so Leafion probably survives another turn. But Leafion put in work. Holy. Leafion is a beast. The amount of work Leafion put in is just bonkers. Alright, he's gonna Psychic me. Okay, he's gonna hit me for 80. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what I draw. DCE. Wow, can we not fight our max potion right now? Like, really? We'll Breath the leaves the active. I'm finding the stadium is so bad right now. We have a lot of damage on board. I think I kind of have to... At least... I don't want him to take out both Grove Files with Lele. That would be horrifying. There's a lot of damage in place still. Wow. The fact that we can't hit our max potions or that stadium is a little aggravating. I cannot lie to you guys. It is a little aggravating. I'm just going to spread out the energy and prepare for the worst. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to prepare for the worst. I can always attack with Lele if I really need to or Septile. So just in case. And either way, like, he has to take out Leafion if he really wants to win. Because it's one of the threatening attackers right now. I did a little insane we weren't able to find our max potions or that new heal stadium to help us out, but whatever. You can get an insane turn with Lele off, but other than that, not much else. Shouldn't really be the case, though. We have so many healing cards, we shouldn't even be allowing that. But, yeah, for some reason, the game right now is not giving me... The draws I need. Max Potion would be great. I probably would have just retreated Max Potioned the Leafeon. Probably just knocked him out of your Sceptile or just Sceptile GX. And we would have won at that point. So the fact that we can't really draw the important healing cards when we need them is really, really triggering. But whatever. We're still pulling through. He needs to find another counter energy. He does have it. That's annoying. Alright, well, we should be able to win. We probably have enough damage on board anyways. Let's see what he even chooses to KO. Yeah, he has to take out Leafeon, but he has to move all that damage off. Leafeon does have a decent amount of HP here, so it's going to be pretty tough for him. Still tough. Yeah, he needs to put four. Yeah, we win. He'll knock me out. It's not going to matter. We just come in. There's no way he can take out both both, uh, both Grovals at this point. So, yeah, we win the game. We just come in, Leaf Cyclone him. And then we grid. We win. And I think I'll wrap up the video there. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to show off much of the new stadium and stuff. But for some reason, we didn't get very lucky. Oh, he's just choosing to do that. Alright, well. Okay, well, we didn't really get lucky with our draws. We didn't really show off the new stadium unless we can top deck it here. Let's see. Oh, we got Max Potion. A little too late, though. But we'll just put down Sceptile. And yeah, we just leave Cyclone win the game. And that is how we beat a spread deck. This deck usually will beat most spread decks because spread obviously relies very heavily on putting damage on the board. And we get to buy a pack. So I might as well wrap up the video with a pack. Sadly, the games weren't that great. Um, but the end there was a pretty good game against a spread deck. Showing off how good that this deck beats spread. Like this deck should beat spread most of the time. If you lose to spread, I mean, spread can still beat you. Depending on how good you draw. Yeah, just for some reason, though, the game didn't want to give me any max potions or that stadium. I did want to kind of show off the stadium there, but again, the game didn't want to give me them. But I'm going to wrap up the video there. I do need to get some videos done. I won't have time to record tomorrow. So I'll probably just wrap up the video here, guys, with this pack opening. Hopefully, we ended off on a banger. The last card I pulled out of a pack was a Rainbow Rare Bocephalon. Okay, we got Scizor. I'm always down to look at that. We got another Reverse Holonix, which is really cool. So... That's good, but yeah, the last pack I bought, I ended up pulling a Rainbow Rare Blissephalon, which is pretty sick. Yeah, see, I pulled one, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, that wraps up this PCGO video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me the road to hitting 4,000 subscribers. I'd really appreciate it. But this was a fun showcase of the deck. We didn't really get to use Glow Spot, but we really got to show off how good Leafeon is, which I'm happy about. We didn't get to really show off the Stadium and the Max Potions, but you get the idea of this deck. Um... It's a very fun deck. 
Uh, and it might have potential. Again, Sceptile is pretty good against Zoark, and obviously there are some decks this deck can cripple. Uh, again, Belcephalon might be a problem if you don't get Sceptile in play, but immediately that Belcephalon player was like, I'm out, I concede. So whatever. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new. Help me the road to 4K subs. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you guys in another PCO video. Hopefully we get to cover either maybe the Shuckle or that Dialga Magnazone deck. So I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.